Okay, so for this look, I'm wearing a 160 gram set of chocolate brown extensions. It's my new favorite color to wear with my dark brown hair. I just really like the way that the ends of the hair are light. Um, to do this look, you're gonna need your curling iron, um, a heat defense spray, and then obviously some hairspray as well. Um, to start off, just take a small section of your hair from the bottom, okay, and you're going to separate a thin section of hair, spray some hairspray on it, and then grab your curling iron and place your curling iron on top of the hair and then wrap the hair around the curling iron. I normally don't close my um, tongs on the hair. I just find it leaves funny marks, so I hold it open until the curl is developed. Okay, so once you feel the heat coming through the hair, just drop the curl into your hand. Hold it like that. And then you're just going to grab a bobby pin. I've got one here somewhere. Okay, so then you grab your bobby pin and you just pin that curl up like that. Just helps the curls to stay a little bit longer than they usually would if you didn't pin them up. Okay, and then move on to your next piece of hair from the bottom. Step. Okay, spray. And then you're curling upwards. Drop the curl into your hand. Grab a bobby pin. I'm not having much luck with my bobby pins today. And just pin that curl into place. Okay, and then just keep going through your whole head. I'm going to speed it up so you don't have to watch me curl my all my hair. Okay, so you're also going to want to separate your hair in half. So just clip up your top layer of hair, and you're only going to be curling the bottom layer. The way that I'm showing you now and then when we do the top layer we're going to do it slightly different. Okay, so once you've curled the bottom half of your hair, you're going to start with the top. Um, so what you're going to do is just create quite a deep side path in your hair. Obviously just make sure that you've clipped in your extensions in a way so that you've got more wefts on the one side and less on the other side because you're pushing more hair to that side. So just put in, um, instead of putting a two clip on either side, you actually just put a um, two two clips on the one side or you could put your two clips on the other side and then just put a few extra one clips on the side that has some more hair. Okay, so to curl the front, I'm just going to take small sections of hair Now when you're wrapping these pieces around the iron, you actually take your curling iron and push it up against the hair and then you're going to curl it over the curling iron like this. So essentially the curl is curling sort of forwards towards your face and then you're pushing up against the root of the hair to make that particular piece stand up. 
<laughs> so that's the first one done and you just do that on the whole top section of your hair I'll do another one so you can see so grab your curling wand and you're pushing up pushing the roots of the hair up and then you're twisting the hair around the curling iron towards your face just like this my curling iron is really hot so I only need to hold it for a few seconds and release and then just keep going For the pieces at the back of your hair, um, you're actually going to curl the pieces at the back under. The reason being is because if you're wearing your hair extensions, you want to make sure that the clips at the back are going to be covered. So if you curl the hair upwards, you might see the clips. So you just curl that sort of under. Okay, so now for the other side, you use the same technique. Grab a small section of hair and you push the curling one up against the root and you're curling the hair over the curling one towards your face. Pushing that curling one up against the root. And repeat it with the rest of the hair. Okay, so now your hair is full of bobby pins from where you were curling the long pieces. Um, you know, everyone's hair is different. Um, for me, the long pieces don't hold the curl as well, but I know some people say that it's the short pieces of hair that don't hold the curl. So you can just pin the curls that you want to last a little bit longer. Um, in my case, it's the longer pieces. Oh, and here I found a piece of hair that I haven't curled. Now I can carry on removing the bobby pins from my hair. Okay, so this is the look once you've released all the bobby pins. Now you're just going to grab your hairspray and just give it a really good spray make sure those curls hold and um, then the other thing I like to do is to grab some argan oil and I just rub a drop through my hands and then um, just rub it through my hair I just like that it gives the curls a nice healthy sort of shine Still got some bobby pins in here. So I hope you all enjoy your Hollywood glam curls. Um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my other social media pages. I'll post the links below. Take care. Bye.